That's Pikachu in a race car. And even if you've never designed anything before in your life, if you've got five minutes and a browser, I can show you how to make it. First things first, you'll have to make an account in Tinkercad. You're gonna start out in lessons. Don't do anything else in there. Go into 3D designs, and I want you to create a new design. And uh, I'm gonna go up here, click it, and name it the car. In Tinkercad, you have to add stuff uh, by just dragging it out. Pretty simple, right? So I'm gonna start off with a box, and I'm gonna squish it down. You see these? If you just move these and drag them about, you can make things bigger or smaller. Pretty easy. If you wanna make them uh, Uniformly scale, just hold down shift when you're doing it. I don't want to do that. You can always undo mistakes right up here. I think that I'm going to add some wheels to my car. I'm going to do that with a cylinder. I'm going to drag it out. I'm going to squish it down to about eight millimeters. And then I'm going to grab this handle and I'm going to rotate it. Keep your mouse on the inside of this wheel that pops up and it'll stick to these bigger, easier angles. And I'm going to throw that on here. Now watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to duplicate it doesn't look like there's a duplicate, right? Use the arrow keys, and I'm gonna use the arrow keys to just move it in one dimension at a time. You can really get it accurate, your movements here with these arrow keys. All right, cool, that looks great. Now what I'm gonna do is hold down shift and grab both of these at the same time. I'm gonna duplicate them, and uh, that's right up here with the duplicate button. <clears throat> and next, I'm gonna move it over with my arrow keys again. Now, of course, we could just drag them around, but I want to get it a little more accurate than that. I'm moving the view around with my right mouse button. You can also use the view cube right up here. I want to make this thing a little more aerodynamic. So I'm going to add a wedge here, and uh, let's spin it around 180. So that's facing the front, and I'm going to move this over. Now, see, I can move stuff around real easily just by dragging it. If you want it to actually come up off that plane, you have to actually lift it up with the little arrow here. And you can adjust the height with this top one. And let's make this thing go way back here. We'll move it way forward here as well. You know, now that I see that, I'm gonna hold down Shift, grab both of these, nudge them up with the arrow key. Now let's move this somewhere right in there to the middle. Squish that down a bit, and let's put that on the back. Uh, now I'm gonna rotate that 90. grabbing the shape you want to cut out here. Let's lift this box up a bit. Now what you're going to do if you want to cut it out of all this stuff is just make it into a hole. Up here you can either give something a color which adds or you can make it a hole which subtracts. And then to see that you're going to group all these together. So grab all of them and I'm going to group them together. And once you do that you can see we have a cutout. And what are we going to put there? Well I'm going to grab Pikachu, uh, this low poly Pikachu from Thingiverse. So once you have downloaded it, you're going to go to import and choose a file, and I'm going to import. Uh oh, Pikachu's too big. I'm going to hold down shift so it uniformly scales and makes Pikachu much smaller. Oh, look at that. We can add a steering wheel. That's great. Let's squish that down. That's too thick. Let's get that a nice little tilt for Pikachu. Uh, that might be still too big. So you really have to change your camera views quite a bit to get it just where you want it. And since we're going to 3D print this, we've got to make sure that it's really overlapping. It's important that your shapes overlap when you're going to 3D print them. You don't want them kind of hanging out too much by themselves. And let's move Pikachu up closer to the steering wheel. There we go. And this is, looks like the car I want. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna group all this together. So one last thing before we export this for 3D printing is I'm gonna cut the bottom of the wheels a little bit flat. That way, when it prints, it'll have something that really sticks well to the bed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna flip this upside down by just kind of pulling it down. And I'm gonna lift my car up a little bit. And now if we look at this from the side, you can see it's gonna cut the bottom of those wheels flat. Grab, grab it all together and make a group. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to export this for 3D printing. So I'm going to go right here and I'm going to click STL file. However, you're going to want to make sure that you turn supports on because if you look underneath here, there's some unsupported area under here. Okay, so now let's get this thing printing. Hey, thanks for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, or check out my website 3dlessonplans.com.